Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video where we're going to talk about the new release from Nomad Cosmetics. Sweeties, this is the new palette and when you're seeing this, it has just been revealed on Instagram. This palette is about to launch in about two days time and I'm super super excited that I got to play with this already. This is my fourth look that I've done with the palette. You will see of course all the other ones later on in the video and now here here it is if you've not seen it on Instagram yet. This is the winter palette from Nomad Cosmetics and maybe you also know that Nomad Cosmetics is of course doing destination makeup so each release of theirs is basically based on some kind of a destination. Okay so this time the destination is the Whistler Snow Lodge and this is also how the outer packaging looks and of course I'm also going to show you the inside a little bit closer. Now there was a very very beautiful uh, embossing on those shadows but of course I have worked with this palette quite a bit already and I've also swatched the palette so that's why most of it is gone but maybe you remember from seeing it also on Instagram. Also of course my swatches and my flat lay and everything will be up on Instagram so you can also check it out there and as always of course my social media is linked in the description box down below and in case you're new here I'm Leora. I'm a makeup artist and stylist living for colorful makeup and colorful styling and for everything that is bold and special and out there and kind of different and maybe not so much mainstream so if you have always wanted to do that in your life or you always wanted to watch it that is also okay even if you maybe don't yourself want to do it <laughs> please subscribe to my channel and check out my content and of course also my social media down below in the description box okay sweetie so this is the palette and as I said we're going to do four looks basically with this palette you're going to also see the palettes watched out later on in the video and while I am <laughs> sweeties this is a disclaimer while I'm doing this makeup sweeties I have to warn you I was very very tired I had a very very short night and even in the three hours that I did sleep I was interrupted a lot because there was a lot of noise and uh, it was just really really hard to get my thoughts together so I'm <laughs> I'm musing about something okay and I'm trying to uh, get to some kind of realization in this video you will have to figure it out I'm probably going to be shocked when I see the footage. I'm filming this on the morning <laughs> that you are seeing this. So I'm going to have to put this all together once I turn the camera off and get it off to you so uh, you will have this video up by the time the palette has been released. Okay, of course at the end of the video, <laughs> all this rambling seriously by the end of the video you will get my review of this palette and beyond that of course enjoy the friendship time and cut me some slack okay <laughs> so without further ado let's go right into the video okay sweeties here we are doing a look and of course you know we're using this palette okay now I am actually pretty much in love with this color scheme because blues and kind of winter palettes cold palettes and also in in this kind of intensity are like really really nice you know so I'm, I'm gonna talk more about that of course in the review part but I want to go in with this shade because that one I haven't used I have actually used most of the shades in the palette already and of course you're going to see the other looks after this part here okay sweeties um let's go into the shade which is called buck Buck and great. <laughs> All right, buck and great. Um, I want this to be a dark look, like really, really dark. And I want it to be like around the crease. I want it to be dark so that this shade that I actually really, really want to make shine today. This is the shade Ski Bum. This, sweeties, is an <laughs> incredibly looking shade. Um, wait, incredible, incredible looking shade. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it has been a bit of a night for me. I only slept three hours and uh, <laughs> so just so you know, if I'm not getting the grammar right, that's probably what it is. And that's kind of also wanted, what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, it's not that, but it is related because um, I know that a lot of people keep asking me, girl, how are you doing this? How are you doing YouTube? How are you doing the like freelance modeling? How are you doing it all and having you know, which is basically my, my business, kind of, you know? And then also having all of these kids, if you don't know, I do have seven. And beyond that, of course, uh, having such a crazy life right now, 
because of the pandemic and all of these things. Now, um, if you don't know what I mean, just a few days ago I uploaded a video uh, where I spoke a little bit about how my life has been off camera, just so you know. Okay, now I also spoke in that video about um, the feeling that I just really, really needed to put my channel on hold and not upload anything because it has just been so demanding. Like life even without YouTube has been just a lot. And um, thing is though that this, this, I just need this to, to keep sane, you know? But that's of course not the answer to the question. So how do I get it all done? Now the answer I think for that is it depends Really, how can you get stuff like this done that you're putting so much in your day? Well, it comes with a price, you know? And that is actually what I want to talk about because I always thought, well, I always felt that it is such a good price to pay and it is so admirable to be like me, <laughs> full of myself, like seriously, you know? Because I was always very, very proud of myself that you know, I don't show weakness. I'm like, I can, I can do it, you know? And a lot of people think that I'm a superwoman, which is absolutely not true because what I've been doing basically was uh, fooling myself to be, to be a YouTuber and to also try to be the perfect mom. I know there's no such thing, but um, it is, you know, and also of course wife and running a household and your business and everything. And I thought, well, if someone can say of me that I've done it all, then I'm going to be finally good enough, you know? So let's go into the shade Abrisky, which is this one up here. And uh, yeah, and then let's just apply that on top of it and just blend out the darker one. Yeah, so what I wanted to say with that is my realization now during those last weeks of like super, super crazy life um, have actually been that one thing has nothing to do with the other. Now, I love discipline. I, I thrive on discipline. I know in today's world um, that's not very in. <laughs> And people are like, you know, you gotta live and gotta let live and, you know, just just hang, hang and do and whatever, but um, don't stress yourself. I kind of, I, I am absolutely not like that. I kind of really need it to be... Um, to be within rules, to be within... Um, something that pushes me on and on and on, you know? Now, I'm doing this myself. To myself you know uh, it's not someone from the outside or like a drill sergeant or something who's doing this I'm doing it which is kind of worse I'm like Monica and friends you know <laughs> she once said that she is she loves to be in in competition with herself and that is what, when I thought yeah yeah okay I relate to that so maybe maybe some of you do that too so in any case um, and that is just there is such a thin line, such a thin line where it is healthy, you know? Okay, let me just go in with a bone color mat and blend this a little bit more, but I think you can see already that these shades blend super, super well into each other. So the line is super, super thin between, um, between being in a healthy state of going forward and pushing yourself and being disciplined with yourself and between someone who is not driven at all and doesn't get anything done and always waits for something to like fall into your lap. There is a thin line where it is healthy, but it is for me at least very, very hard for me to, to hit that line. I always tend to be into, into the extreme that I am driving myself nuts, you know? And basically that's what I have been doing in my, not only in my life on YouTube, but also in my private life and in like everything. And I felt like at some point now that I was actually reaching a breaking point because um, the whole situation pandemic related now recently and by the way you're seeing this on the same day when I'm filming this so this is like super up to date you know I'm filming this on the morning of when you're seeing this so um, life has just been so crazy that it basically really took me to the brink of of 
yeah, I can't do it anymore. I cannot, you know? Not only YouTube, but like life in general. What What is going on, you know? It's like, I don't know. So thank God that I have wonderful friends at my side and of course also some of you that I know already for so many years who have been here with me on this journey and also a lot of new friends who actually you guys with your comments have really sometimes saved my day seriously because I um, I got so discouraged and I got so so tired of everything you know and you don't know that because you don't see me really when I'm off camera but I actually had to take um, several times a couple of days off doing makeup and I felt like oh, I don't miss it I don't miss it and I was shocked because that was the one thing where I thought well this is my passion this is what I want to do this is where I feel home this is where I feel happy and safe and then I'm kind of pushed into a situation where I just cannot do it because it is too much and then I don't even miss it and that was kind of scary it was kind of scary now thing is that it also made me realize something else about me okay let's get this a little bit darker even I'm gonna go in with the black which is this one obviously this is the shade ski out and let's just push that a little bit here in the outer corner just a tiny little bit to be extra dramatic <laughs> and um just like that i think i don't want to do like super much more than this but uh just the outer corner so we have like the most possible amount of depth in, <laughs> in the look and i also want to go in with a different brush which one ah, i have it here already and um go in with the dark teal again and just blend them together like this so, but it made me realize something else. You know, this whole situation of, for whatever reason, I couldn't do makeup. It doesn't matter really. But it made me realize something else that first of all, I need to find this fine line of um, being healthy within being driven and being disciplined. And also it made me realize that I'm okay without makeup. It doesn't need to be something bad for someone who loves makeup so much. That I don't need it in order to be better. I don't need it in order to prove anything. I don't need it for that. I just want it for fun. You know, I want it because this is, wait, I need to go in with Ski Bum, which is of course this beautiful light blue shade that I just showed you before. I'm going to pick that up with a packing brush and I'm going to apply it right here which is so beautiful. There is a shift to it, sweeties. I think it's like a, like a pinkish shift, which is so, so cute. And you can also see that it also builds super, super well with the brush. Okay, so what did I realize? I realized that I'm enough, that I'm enough, you know? And I think I'm going to have to have a journey of re-realizing it a lot in different situations because when you are driven and when you are very very um, focused on like delivering and um, pleasing basically also because every time you deliver you kind of try to please someone also you know um, sometimes also just yourself and I kind of felt like no I don't need this anymore and I don't need to prove to myself that I can do makeup you know how often it has happened that after a couple of makeup free days I felt so guilty that the first look after that break I felt like I, I have no idea how to do this anymore you know which is crazy okay now we're gonna go into that uh, that blue shade this is a blue shimmer which is called wait um, black comb black comb and this one I'm going to just put here to connect it to the black a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a 3D. <laughs> I don't know. I always feel like if one uses several shimmers on, on the lid, it gives a little bit of a, like a 3D, like a better curve of the, of the lid or something. At least that's how I see it. All right, so in any case, that was really, really cool, you know? And I was talking with my besties about it, and um, and for me, the realization was actually pretty huge because I have been 
priding myself in what I'm doing and I've been very very happy with what I'm doing but I always felt the price is too big for me to pay that I'm like ruining my sanity um, while I'm pushing everything possible into my day and still trying to do like everything perfectly and it cannot be done it cannot be done and now and that's kind of a coincidence if there is such a thing um, that and it, this is not going to uh, turn into a sermon don't worry but um, now basically last Shabbat which is my holy day during the week we actually read something in the Torah which is basically our holy scriptures we read something about Yitro. This is a man who was basically the father-in-law of Moses. Okay, everybody knows Moses, I think. So he is the father-in-law and basically Moses or Moshe, this is how we say it in Hebrew, Moshe was um, at a burnout. You know, he was at the point where he was like this close to a burnout and um, his father-in-law came to visit and he was like, what's going on? <laughs> and then Moshe told Yitro what he is doing during the whole day and that he has to counsel and, and do so many things. And then Yitro said, delegate, delegate, you know? And that is something for a person that is just really, really wants to be in charge and um, is like a bit of a control freak, you know? Me, hi. Um, that that is really really hard because for me it's always like if I do it I know it's done and I know it's done well and I can trust myself that I finished the job and all of these things if I have to give it to someone else then the potential of this being not good is of course much much higher right and that is really really um, scary in a way and also it kind of wait I forget to work what am I doing let's just put this also on a little bit like this yeah so it is just also a little bit um, scary to know that you're giving it out of your hands and the potential of someone messing it up while you could have done it for sure better <laughs> You know, you see how crazy this is. You see how crazy this is. How can you live like this? You know, now I'm not Moses. <laughs> no, but I'm running a show here, not here, but also like within my whole life off camera um, where a lot of people depend on me and it is just really, really exhausting. This is how it has been, especially now with a lot of homeschooling and 150 million messages in Hebrew from all the schools. And then, of course, even worse than the messages from the schools is the messages from from the parents and the parents WhatsApp groups who are discussing the messages from the teacher. <laughs> it's like you want to really, really hit your head against the wall. But beyond that, um, yeah, it is just something that I'm uh, starting to learn to find a little bit more balance in this and to keep this place here safe for me, for fun. Because if I'm going to start to now drive myself nuts to grow this channel and to be like YouTube famous and to all of, like, all of these things, I'm going to lose myself you know and I cannot I cannot do this so this looks beautiful such a nice winter look um, yeah so I'm going to of course finish this look off camera and you're going to see the swatches of the palette you're going to see of course the other three looks that I've done with the palette and then we'll meet here for the review part so stay tuned Okay, sweeties, now you have seen me create this look. You also, of course, saw the other three looks and also the swatches, and here we are again. Now, let me zoom you in so you can take a closer look. And as always, I'm going to show you or tell you in a second how I finished the look. Of course, you see that I put a black liner on, and in this case, I also added some black glitter on top of the black liner. 
So that is really, really cool. It's the first time that I've done it and I really, really like it. I hope it gets across or it comes across on camera. And of course, also the rest of the look, I'm going to tell you in just a second what I did there. Okay, so let's just do that right now for the for the inner corner. I used this shade here, which is a dual chromey shade. It looks kind of white here in the pan, but I would say that it does have like a pinkish shift and it is a little bit more like a topper shade, but it is absolutely buildable because here you can see that, um, I hope it comes across, that there is actually like a, a pink sheen to it and I think it's really, really pretty. And then basically I just continued on with this shade here and blended it out again with this one. This is basically yeah, all, all I did. And on my waterline, I do have a purple. So this is sweeties, this palette. Let's talk about the palette. Of course, 15 shades. You do have cardboard packaging and you do have, wait, let me give you the sleeve because the sleeve looks like this and you do have the ingredients on the sleeve, but not on the palette. Okay. It also comes with a description of the, the location basically. I'm going to show you in case you don't know this place. I don't know this place, but <laughs> this is how it looks. And this is like a mountain village. And of course, Felicia and Antti, the owners of Nomad Cosmetics, have been traveling to all of these places where they're creating the palettes for. <laughs> You know, so that is really, really cool. And this is basically the color impression or the mood or whatever they, they get from these places. That's what they put in the palettes. And I think they're doing a spectacular job. And especially with this one, sweeties, color scheme wise, I have to say that for me personally, for my makeup style and for my, for my taste, this is the best palette they've ever made. The best palette that they've ever made. And I also have to say, the formula is top notch and um, maybe you remember that last time when we spoke about the Haunted Europe palette which was the last bigger release from Nomad Cosmetics I actually did struggle a little bit with the shimmer formula because it creased on me like crazy this has not creased on me in any of the looks and also I feel that the pigmentation is so so good and also in the shimmer shades I think they're really really opaque they're really almost metallic and of course you do have also I think at least three duochromes which is this one and this one and this one this is my most favorite shade in the palette this is the one that I actually have on my lid and it is so so beautiful and also this one has a bit of a like a light purple slash pink shift and it's so so, so gorgeous but also the other ones uh, when I think about this blue it is incredible maybe you also saw it in the swatches also this dark dark hunter green so so beautiful the black is beautiful also the dark brown that I used in my more neutral look super performance also this shade I'm just so so grateful for those darker mattes you know darker colorful mattes that's beautiful and I'm so so glad that they did this and of course they're giving you also nice lighter shades for blending it out and everything Thing. This is a beautifully curated palette and you know what I have I don't know I don't have everything from Nomad but I have a lot from Nomad and probably I should just make a video about this and just show you all the palettes that I have and maybe rank them but <laughs> sweeties spoiler uh, this is going to come in first I thought that the Iceland palette uh, would be the first one for a long time you know ranking in first place but sweeties this I feel is so much better because of the dark mats because of the depth because of the drama and because of I don't know it just feels so well rounded and the quality is top-notch I don't know if there is a change in formula I cannot tell you I have no idea probably not <laughs> sweeties I don't know maybe it's just because I am happy and I it just like it feels like this it just went on my face and it was just so so good and sometimes when I'm going through stretches in my life that where I'm just a little bit more struggling um, with myself and you know with all kinds of things then also the makeup doesn't work so well with me and it's not necessarily the makeup's fault you know so I don't want to put um, the thing out there that there has been a formula change I don't know that but I feel that this formula is absolutely superior to whatever has been before within Nomad Cosmetics just saying okay um, <laughs> 
it's a really really good palette okay cardboard packaging you have really really cute shade names also and of course you do have a nice size mirror in the palette in case you work with that just so you know and yeah so this is what it is you do have mattes and shimmers and dual chromes in the palette and of course you saw this watch is the pigmentation and the buildability the blendability everything is really really nice also the nomad shadows have such a smoothness to them and that has always been the case they're very very smooth and i would say beginner friendly in general but i just feel that the pigmentation in those and it could also be just connected to the fact that it is just a lot of more darker shades in this palette that it is just so much more interesting and so much better for Leora, <laughs> for my soul, you know? So I really, really enjoyed this and I'm so, so glad that they launched this. For me, this has been, this has been the best one so far, you know? And I'm so, so excited for this brand. I've been now on the PR list for almost a year. <sighs> So I'm really, really happy about that. And um, I'm also affiliated with them. So you, of course, find my code down in the description box in case you want to use it. So, uh, but sweeties, this one is definitely worth checking out in case this is a color scheme that you like. And in case you do like the Nomad formula, then I would definitely recommend this to you. For me, this has been the best Nomad palette so far, you know, definitely. So this is that, of course, all the looks that I have been doing with this palette will come up shortly also on my Instagram. So so make sure you follow me there too if you're interested in that and beyond that check out Nomad Cosmetics and get ready for the launch because that is going to be super super soon and beyond that check out my description box because you find all kinds of information there beyond all my makeup that I'm wearing today you will also find all my discount codes that I have with all kinds of different brands my links to social media and of course ways to support my channel in case you wish to do so as always feel free to leave me your comments in the comment section you do not need to comment on how tired I was <laughs> sweeties I don't know I hope it wasn't as bad as it feels for me right now but I'm only going to know once I edit the video so <laughs> <laughs> sweeties okay don't give up on me we're going to pull through and it is it's all good all right then don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so and if you still want to then please do so now and i shall see you here super soon for my next video and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye